Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do these pink animal print butterfly nail art design on some bristle nails today. So we've got two different shades of pink, we've got a light and a dark, we've got baby pink and spirit guide. So those are the two pink gel polishes and that, those are the only colours we're going to need. We also have a matte top coat from Benaliza and some Born Pretty black stamping polish. I think that's all you need when it comes to like the actual art itself. We've got some glitter going on later on. We've got of course some crystals going on. And we're going to need some rhinestone glue gels. So the rhinestone glue gels that we're going to use later on is from McCart. So with our background colours on our nails and stuff, we've got the thumb and the middle uh, finger as the light pink. We've got the pinky as darker pink and then those two last nails that we've got going on are going to be ombres but we are going to flip the ombres around so if one of them has the pink at the top then the other will have the darker pink at the bottom and so on so that they're not full-on identical but to be honest with you it's such a tiny little minor difference that if you just wanted to have two of the same ombres then absolutely go for it because now that I'm looking at it like in person it really does not make that much of a difference it doesn't really change it a whole lot so just do what you like really. So this is our first ombre. We're gonna do of course the same thing on the other. Off camera real quick, I'll repeat the whole process again. Everything will have two coats and then we can start with the artwork. So before we actually get cracking with the stamping, we are going to sugar one of the nails and that's gonna be our pinky today. I'm quite, I do find myself sugaring the pinkies quite often. I don't know why. But it's always a pinky for some reason. Maybe we should do a thumb next time. <laughs> but here it is. Everything's got two coats now. And here's the glitter that I'm going to use. And as you can see, I'm really, really running low on that one. I've been using it quite often. I love doing pink nails. I love pink. It's like my favorite color. So I've been using the pink quite often. Tapping away any excess. It's all going into the lamp. Now it's time for a quick little touch of pink on the thumb the darker pink i'm going to do a line from one side to the other kind of in the middle or trying to kind of stay in the middle um but it's not really i'm not really too fussed on it to be honest here i'm picking up <laughs> the other set just to see if it's roughly in the same area the reason i do that is because if you are going to like pack it up and send it to anybody the thumbs are most likely going to be next to each other well they're more than likely to so I try my best to get those two as close to each other as possible. The rest of them is not that much of a big deal. Of course, you want them to be as identical as possible. But sometimes things, you know, everything's handmade. And unfortunately, with handmade things, you can never really get it identical. So um, I always just try my hardest on the thumb and the rest of it. If it's ever so slightly off-centered, I don't try to worry about it too much. Now it's time for our stamping. You've all probably seen this stamping plate like loads on my channel um if you're a real og you've probably seen it plenty so this is one of my most used animal print stamping plates and it's so incredibly affordable and i've had so much use out of it it's really honestly paid itself back and even more to be honest so this is a beauty big bang um i think it's a texture plate um and i got it from aliexpress such a long time ago guys like when I first really got into stamping and I started ordering stamping plates from AliExpress at the time, like that was one of the first ones I got and I use it till this day. Of course, I do have stamping plates that I might have ordered and just never picked up again. It happens, but this one, oh my gosh. So if you're into animal print, and even if you're not, to be honest, because I'm not a massive animal print wearer, but because I do designs like on a daily all the time, um, animal prints for some reason are quite fun to play about with and get them incorporated into things and even like today we're doing animal print with butterflies so you can do that animal print with other things whatever you're kind of fancying at the time it just kind of works <laughs> you could even do like animal prints with smiley faces and stuff literally or flowers like anything so we've now got three nails with the animal print here. I am digging through my butterfly stickers and I'm trying to pick out whichever one I'd like to. So I'm kind of trying to stick with the pink butterflies. So on the thumb, I'm placing this one here in the center. You'll notice that I'm messing about with it for a little while just because I was trying to center it as much as I could. Um, and even though I was using the tweezers, which are supposed to help me, um, for some reason it just wasn't working but i do prefer the tweezers than just doing it with my fingers because i still feel like i've got more control with the tweezers and i'm able to like pinch it and place it where i want it but today was just not my day so it took a couple of attempts so don't press it too hard when you first place it down because then you might have issues kind of unpeeling it and sticking it down again so try and do it gently now that we've got the first one down the rest of it is literally downhill from here pretty much so 
I'm just going to start picking up any pink butterflies that I feel like are kind of cute and I'm going to place two on each of those two last nails so four together two on one nail two on the other animal print nail and I'm placing one at the top and one at the bottom and I'm not trying to focus on which one I'm picking up so if you were to sell these for example make sure you leave in the description that the butterflies could vary because it's quite unrealistic that you're going to have the exact same butterfly pattern um for let's say 50 sets that you might sell um so it's best to leave that in the description in case um someone you know might be a bit upset because they wanted that specific butterfly so it's just a little note to bear in mind if you were to go and sell these or copy over the design just have that in the in the notes because you never know someone might really like that butterfly and then they might not get it and then they might get upset <laughs> so bear that in mind we are just on our last uh butterfly sticker now and all these butterfly stickers are from Shein guys so if you haven't shopped on Shein for any nail products then what are you doing get on there real quick because they've got so many charms butterflies stickers any sort of stickers it's like the place to get your nail art stuff from so now that that's done it's time to do our crystal placement and we're almost at the end of the design we are then just gonna have to top coat these and they're done so with our placement today I'm working on the thumb at the moment so we've just got kind of like a I like to call these a tiara, like a crown placement because it's right at the top of the nail and it feels like I'm popping on a crown or something because it's so shiny and sparkly. But here is what we're placing down and then in between the crystals we're going to pop some caviar beads in there too. The caviar beads is also from Shein guys, literally shop there <laughs> for any sort of art um and it's so incredibly affordable and if you do shop on there make sure to create yourself an account on quidco i've got a link in the description for you guys and you get cash back on top of everything that you buy on shein and any other places that you shop online it's the best website and if you use my link in the description you get yourself a believe it's 15 pounds for free once you get your first 15 pounds cash back so it doesn't have to be on your one transaction just over time as you gather up your first fiver you then get automatically 15 pounds for free so it's literally free money you shop anyways online especially on Shein um and other actual nail art places are on there too so um glitter bells for example i do quite a lot of like glitter showing different swatches of glitter bells acrylics and they're on there too which is really really nice she and of course aliexpress so a lot of nail places that you can most likely shop so definitely check it out because it's such a shame because you're literally um passing out on free money which is nice to have back and then you can afford even more nail stuff which is literally amazing so now we're on the middle nail and that's going to be our last crystal placement this one's got quite a lot going on as you can see different sort of shaped ab's cavi beads going on all sorts are going to go on for this one um once i've placed that first initial placement down i think i pop it into the lamp quickly we'll see in just a second because i'm almost done with this part sometimes i do sometimes i don't or the for me it literally depends on the day oh i disappeared so it has gone into the lamp but it literally depends on the day for me um some days i feel like i'm quite adventurous and i don't mind and i'm just going for it and other days uh, for some reason i'm just a bit maybe tired and i think oh no i'm worried that the crystals are going to move whilst i'm you know playing with the cavities and placing them into place so then i pop into the lap so this is probably that day um <laughs> this is going to come out in just a second the cavities on the right hand side we're just going to quickly pop it on in between pretty much anything i could the um rhinestone glue gel is from a card don't know if i mentioned i get mine on amazon because i'm in the uk and they no longer have a website which is quite upsetting um i used to shop on their app actually back in the day but I guess maybe it's no, no longer profitable or something so i can't really do that no more but luckily they're on amazon which is quite nice now we're just doing the caviar beads last little step before the top coats once the top coat is applied i'll show you guys what they all look like matte on the stand and then i'll show you guys what they look like on my hand i love doing these kind of designs to actually show you guys what it looks like on the hand because i do the stiletto so often and it's not always a realistic view of what they would look like so it's nice to do it on smaller nails sometimes and then show you guys the finale actually on the hand show you what it looks like if you wanted to recreate or you know um incorporate in your personnel shops or anything like that this is the part where i am applying the top coat because it's a matte one i'm trying to avoid obviously popping any matte gel polish on the crystal as much as i can i don't want to dim them now dim them down <laughs> Um, and then of course the rest of them I pretty much don't have anything on them so I can just go wild except from the thumb actually um, I sometimes get comments I, tr I try to remember to say or leave links but you know you all know me by now I 
very forgetful, very forgetful. But the little metal stand that I'm using to um, keep my little nail tips on, um, that's actually a metal file, guys. Sometimes I get comments and it's just a metal file and it's so nice because it's very, very strong. So it's much nicer than the little stands that you get with these tip holders. Um, so that's why I like to use it because it feels a bit more sturdier when I'm applying and working on nails. Now here are the nails with the matte top coat on the stand still super up close and then in just a second you're going to see it on my hand. So I hope you guys liked the video, if you did please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I would love to see you all in my next video. Bye guys!